everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And this is day 10 of 26 days living on the edge. Cruise ship, that is. <laughs> and yesterday, oh, yesterday was so exciting. Yesterday was our first day in Europe. Very exciting. Very exciting. We did get up early. We got up was, very early. But it was great because the pictures that you took from us coming into port, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So we got up a little bit before 6.30. Right. And I went immediately out to the balcony and looked to see what it was like. And I took some of the most beautiful photos and video footage and it was just breathtaking the water was so calm it was like a lake and it was so dark but as you looked over towards the shore and you could see the sun just ever so slightly starting to break and the whole island of madeira was lit up and it was so exciting. I felt like a little kid on Christmas morning. I couldn't wait to get dressed and get out there. And then I went out onto the retreat sun deck, which the door on our second level of our villa leads out right out to the retreat sun deck. So I put my bathroom on and went out there. There was not a soul in sight. Whole ship was still, I think, sleeping and in their cabins. And I went out and took a little a uh, little bit of a video out there and just enjoyed the peace and, and the moment of pulling into the Madeira port. So after we got over the initial excitement and the beautiful sights, we came in and we got ready for the day and we went and we met Christina and Nelson at Lumine for breakfast. We had a great, lovely breakfast with them. It was the first time having breakfast together. And we all went back to our respective cabins and gathered our belongings and off the ship we went. Yes. It was so clean out there, so nice. It uh, was. Yeah. And when we went out to the terminal, there was a celebrity representative out there selling tickets for the shuttle. It was $10. And for that $10, you got a shuttle pass for the entire day to go back and forth between the ship and the city center of Madeira. And they ran 20 minutes. Yes. Yeah, every 20 minutes they would run. Right. And they were nice, clean uh, buses. So we took the shuttle downtown. It didn't take us more than 10 minutes to get there. And they dropped us off right in the city center of Madeira. And we walked around for about two hours. It was very lovely. We walked through this garden. And then we talked about possibly going somewhere and getting some coffee. And eventually we did that towards the end of our two hours. We sat at a cafe and we had coffee with ice cream in it. Christina inquired about a nice coffee and the waitress said, well, we have a coffee with ice cream in it. So we all raised our hand on that one and we got a couple Danishes to split and mm -hmm. it was delicious. And we sat there and just chatted and watched all the locals walk by and it was really, really lovely. We spent about two hours there and then we got the shuttle and came back to the ship. Came back to the villa and I lay down for a little while, rested, Joyce went to take a shower and then we went to meet Christina and Nelson down by the gangway to get off the ship for our 1230 excursion. We had to be there at 1215. Our excursion was Madeira and Ribera Brava and we it was what, four hours long, about. Yes. And, and it was great. We made, I think, four stops, I believe. Yes. Uh, so, Madeira and Ribeira Brava are an island, part of Portugal, and the mainland is separate from them. So, where we went yesterday was to the island of Madeira Funchal and Ribeira Brava. So, our excursion was on a tour bus with a tour guide and she spoke to us all about the culture in Portugal and the differences between the mainland and, and Madeira and Ribeira. As John said, we went to four different stops. It was really amazing. 
Why don't you tell them about the one stop that we went to where you took the pictures? I think it's the highest cliff in Europe. Not the highest mountain, because it wasn't a mountain. It was called the highest cliff. It was 589 meters above sea level. And it was, it was fantastic. You, you could stand on uh, glass and look down. It was pretty cool. And they had these metal grates that you could look through also. You could look down at the sea. It's a fantastic view. And then we went and I bought a hat up there. Finally found the hat to wear. Yeah. And uh, I still can't find my traveling gambler's hat. We so, checked, lost and found, uh, and they said they don't yeah, have so it. Joyce will make me a new one. Yeah. Um, so then the next stop that we went to, I'll make you a new one. I just picked up on that. Okay, I guess I'll be making him a new hat. We, one of the other stops we went to, there was a, an old church that she wanted us to see, and there was like a little town with a little market. And she said, if you want something to eat or drink, this, she suggested one of the spots over there. And we went there, it was about 1.30 or so. We each got a coffee, a cappuccino, I believe. Yes. We got a ham and cheese empanada and a Danish. Right. So we shared the empanada and we shared the Danish yeah. and we each had a cappuccino. Yeah, that empanada was pretty good. It was, it was pretty big and for the two coffees, and the empanada and the danish and it was only six euros for all that which was excellent and it was really good it was, it was delicious it was amazing and, and christina and nelson had a bottle of water um the same thing right the empanada did they get something else and they had a danish and also they had a danish and theirs was three dollars three, three euros, euros. I, it was I it was crazy. So when we were in the city center and we had the uh, coffee with the ice cream, yeah. there was a total of three Danishes that four of us shared. Okay. And the four coffees with ice cream, and it was 44 euros. euros. Yeah. But it was a tourist area. Yes, it was the city center. My point is, is that the difference between the city center and not too far out of the city. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling if we went down some of the side roads, yes. I think we would have done a little bit yeah. better. And everything right, was walking. Because, yeah. because some of the crew that we spoke to went to some of the places not too far from the ship as well, not too far from the city center. And they said things were very reasonably priced as well. So as long as you're not in the city, and, and don't get me wrong, the city center was beautiful and it was absolutely the place to go and to mm -hmm. see in addition to what we did. But if we were to do it again on our own, I would reserve buying something to eat and or drink outside of that area because it was pretty expensive, especially compared to the prices that we paid at the other spot. And another thing is, um, there were like 10, 15 pharmacies along the way if you needed something when you got off the ship. After we had that little snack, we got back on the bus and did a little bit more touring, went to the fishing area, fishing, uh, what would they we, we went past an area where she showed us and it was more of a look at. It wasn't, we didn't go down because it was down further mm -hmm. over the cliff there. So we saw it from the road the fishing village, the scenery, everything. Everything about Portugal was absolutely beautiful. As John said, it was extremely clean. The streets were beautiful. The sidewalks were like mosaic tiles mm -hmm. and the people were just very lovely. Everybody spoke English. And they were all very friendly. It was really, it was, the weather was perfect. And someone asked about the crime in the area, and she said there's hardly any crime, like practically none. After the excursion, we went back to the ship. It was around 4.30. We went up to the villa and freshened up and get re got ready for dinner at the rooftop garden grill, which we really loved that place. Yeah, it was and, awesome. Um, Joyce had a burger. Again, again, and, and I had the brisket, which was really good. And then we had the, of course, we had the hot 
chocolate chip cookie with yes. the ice cream for right, dessert. Right. And then after we had dinner, we came back to our villa because yesterday was my very special friend, Leah. Yesterday was her birthday. Leah and I have been friends for many, many years, uh, more than I can count, 50 some odd. And yesterday was her birthday. And yesterday was my mom's 88th birthday. So we spent some time in the villa so that I could make a phone call to each of them. And I chatted with Leah for a while. And then I chatted with my mom and my sister for about a half an hour. And afterwards, John and I had some final editing to do for the day. We finished that and we headed down to the casino. We said that we would play $50 each in the moolah game and we ended up playing $75 each in the moolah game and it did not go very well and John said okay I'm willing to go 100 each in the lightning link games and we went over to lightning link and we we're both playing very conservatively mm -hmm. I was betting I actually looked over at John's machine and he was betting two dollars and fifty cents on the 10 cent denomination. So I decided to do the same. And about four spins in, I hit the major again. Mm -hmm. This is the third major that I have hit on Lightning Link this cruise. And the fourth major altogether, I think. Didn't you hit one on I the, hit one, the major on, on the dancing drums, dancing drums right. as well. And John hit the major on dancing drums. Well, last night after I hit my major, John hit the major on Lightning Link also. We hit the major on Dancing Drums a couple nights ago, me and then John about 10 minutes later, and last night, me and then John again about five minutes later. So all in all, we ended up with a very nice win in the casino last night. Mm -hmm. We were only down there, we didn't go down until about 11 o'clock. Right. right. It was very late. And we came back up to our cabin and we went to sleep. And that brings us to today. And we will tell you about today, tomorrow. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. And we hope you have a wonderful day.